All right, so this is where we left off in class. We had these notes up on the board. And first we discussed about the acceleration being directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to mass. And the reason that we said it was directly proportional to force is that when the force increases, the acceleration is increasing. And over here, when the mass increases, the acceleration is decreasing. So we get um, large mass, small acceleration, or small mass, large acceleration. Whereas here, we're seeing for small forces, you get small acceleration. Up here, for big forces, you get big acceleration. We can take these two proportionalities and combine them into one. And this is what it would look like. Acceleration is proportional to force on top and mass on the bottom. So we can take this one step further by turning this into an equation that says acceleration equals force divided by mass. And this equation is known as Newton's second law. And the only time that we can say with an equal sign is if we're using the SI units metric. So underneath here, let's put the units. For, for force on top, we have Newtons. For mass on the bottom, we have kilograms. And for acceleration over here, we get meters per second square. So it might seem a little unusual. How do we get meters over second square from doing newtons divided by kilograms? Well, remember that a newton is the same as a kilogram times meter per second square. And so when we substitute that in here, we get kilogram over meter per second square divided by kilograms. And the kilograms are going to cancel out. Okay, and what's really relevant here is not just the force acting on it, but the net force. So let's go ahead and add the word net as a subscript there. And so a little, ref little refresher on net force. This would be where we have more than one force acting on an object. So let's switch over to green and do a little example here. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. You can write in green here an example. All right, so we're going to draw a kind of generic example of a box sitting on a surface. And we're going to, well, let's just do this. Let's have some guy pulling it. And there's going to be so some applied force. And let's say that he's pulling with an applied force of 20 newtons. But let's say that there is some friction against the ground, which is 8 newtons. So the question then is, how fast will this be accelerating? And we'll put that question mark. So pretty, oh, what, what else do we need to know about this? Let's make this box equal to 10 kilograms of mass. OK, so how will we calculate the acceleration? So we can do F net divided by mass. And so by F net, we're going to have I'll just scroll down here a little bit. OK, continuing on here. That would be the force applied minus the force of friction divided by the mass. And so that's going to equal, throw in our numbers here, um, 20 newtons minus 8 newtons divided by 10 kilograms equals 12 newtons to the right over 10 kilograms, which is going to be uh, 1.2 newtons per kilogram, which we know now is meters per second square. All right, so that's its rate of acceleration. So the big thing, the reason we did this example was to see that you had to actually calculate the net force. Um, to find the acceleration of it. Now, if we scroll up here again and take a look at the equation that we wrote, I'm going to put a box around this one here because it's a pretty key equation. 
but we can also do a little algebra with it. We can multiply both sides times mass. Now the masses are going to cancel, mass divided by mass. So we have just converted it to another form, which is written like this. F net, net force, equals mass times acceleration. And I remember my physics teacher in high school would say, never forget ma, like mama bear. So ma, mass times acceleration, equals net force. And this is actually the way that you often see it written more commonly. And on the homework in the worksheet, I'm going to ask you to write that one more way where you are isolating mass. So on the handout that I gave you for homework, you uh, will see this table on there. And this uh, here we have you finding the net force, the friction force on the object, the applied force, the mass of the object, and the acceleration of it. So we're going to do one or two as an example here. So it says find the net force. So we should understand that net force is the applied force minus the friction force. So we can say here applied force minus friction force equals net force. So 18 minus 12 equals 6 newtons. And we also now know that net force equals the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. So 6 newtons equals 1.5 times some number for acceleration. And here's where you can do a little algebra. What number times 1.5 equals 6 newtons? And so to find this answer, we can do a little math here. 6n divided by 1.5 kilograms is going to equal 4.0 meters per second squared. So we can put that in here, 4.0 meters per second square. Okay, um, we can do one more example here together. We have the acceleration of the object for this next one here is 2 meters per second square. And we are asked to find the mass of the object and the net force acting on it. So once again, we have net force. Subtract those. And... 2,500 minus 1,500 is 1,000 newtons. And it's going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration of it. So I'll let you continue with this. And uh, that's all. We'll go over this in class.